Hello everyone. In this presentation, I'm going to be covering the Doctor in Star Trek Voyager's latent image. Specifically, I'm going to be discussing how the episode represents post-traumatic stress disorder. So, let's get started. First, let's discuss Star Trek and its legacy. The original series premiered in 1966, and it was popular, but there was also some controversy. So, for instance, the crew was notable for being mixed-gendered and interracial. For example, you had um, a Japanese pilot, um, an African-American communications director. You also had a Russian um, operations officer as well, um, not to mention the racial undertones of having an alien on board. So there was also um, some, controversy, some major controversy um, in the third season when the first interracial kiss aired on primetime um, between Kirk and Uhura um, made, was, made headlines um, and actually made quite a few people um, upset um, at what was being shown on television. In fact, a lot of people called into their local um, television stations to tell them to take the show off the air. Now, it was canceled after its third season for reasons that the corporation, uh, that the uh, production company was, have, have not exactly been all that forthcoming on. However, fans did help continue um, its legacy for decades. Now, as a side note, I would like to note, uh, tell a story um, that Nichelle Nichols, who played uh, Uhura on the series and in the films, um, has once given in an interview. And so she says that during, um, after the first season of the episode, after, of the series, that she was considering actually leaving the series because the the civil rights movement was starting to get into full swing, and she felt that that her her um, she could be better served uh, or better serve her community by focusing on the civil rights movement and the actions that they were that they were um, employing. However, a very big fan of the show, Martin Luther King Jr. himself, actually convinced Michelle Nichols to stay on the series because she's because he said that the representation that she offers where you have a, a black woman who is a respected member of the crew um, is on television and is not being treated like a maid. She is being treated like an equal. He said that that would be the best way that she could serve the civil rights movement. And so she remained on the show for the rest of the seasons and also reprised her role in the films. Now, as for Star Trek Voyager... Star Trek Voyager didn't premiere until 1995. In fact, it was a spin-off of Star Trek The Next Generation, and it actually aired too after another spin-off was also a big hit, and that was um, Deep Space Nine. The series, Voyager, literally went where no one has gone before, at least no human within the Star Trek universe. So in the first episode, the crew of Voyager are blasted to the other side of the galaxy. Now, to give you um, an idea of just how big the galaxy is, Traveling at their top speed, which is nine times the speed of light, it would still take Voyager, the Voyager crew 75 years to return to Earth. The galaxy is that large. The episode I've assigned for this class is actually the 11th episode of the fifth season, and it's titled Latent Image. This episode aired in 1999, and it follows the Doctor as he investigates his own memories. Now, most Star Trek episodes follow a similar structure of setting up a mystery or problem that the crew must solve. In this episode, the doctor discovers that he performed a surgery on a patient that he does not, that, a surgery that he does not remember. The question I want to be, I want us to think about as we watch the episode is, is the doctor suffering from PTSD? Now, as the episode progresses, or the episode's plot progresses, the Doctor learns that he experienced a traumatic episode um, a couple of years before the episode, before the episode, and his memories had been repressed in some way. Now, just to give a quick kind of definition of post-traumatic stress disorder, it's a disorder that can sometimes occur in individuals who have suffered a traumatic experience, and this can include war veterans, anyone who's experienced extreme acts of violence, or witnessed extreme acts of violence. Um, it can also be, um, it's also been attributed to, um, or domestic abuse victims have also experienced it, as well as child abuse victims and rape victims. Trauma victims often suffer um, from extreme anxiety, flashbacks, nightmares that repeat the traumatic episode itself, 
Um, they also experience disordered memories and even repressed memories. All of these, the doctor experiences within the episode. Now, what the, the follow-up question that we'll need to be um, thinking about as we watch the episode is whether or not the episode's depiction of PTSD is accurate according to what we know about PTSD. Thank you for watching, and please let me know if you have any questions.